Welcome back. I am the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee, without a doubt, invading your space with a short vlog, giving you an update on my restoration project. If you are new to the channel, this is a 1968 Datsun 520 pickup truck. And what I am doing today is making a little vlog on what my video will be about Sunday morning. There's a couple of cabs sitting in here, a bed over there, uh, parts painted over here. Here's our rear differential housing and I've been working on it. I still have more to do, but I plugged up the ends and I filled it up with muriatic acid right there as you can see. So it'll clean the entire inside of that housing, will be rust free, and then I will have to saturate it in oil so it doesn't start to rust again quickly. Here are some parts that are cleaned up, ready to go and be painted. Some backing plates and brackets. I may have showed this stuff, I'm not sure. Before, everything's starting to scramble together now. Can't keep track of what's going on here, but they have to be painted, these parts. There's actually a wheel down here in the vat, too. I would like to get that painted up. I don't know if it'll happen this week or not, though. Rusty old leaf springs. I've got to get them cleaned up and ready for paint. There's our sway arm bar, whatever you want to call it. It, too, needs to be cleaned up. I have been working on the front end pieces, getting them what's left of them put onto the truck here and trying to line that out. The gas tank, I decided I'm going to put a little muriatic acid in it just to get on the bottom. That is like the worst area where it has rust and uh, whatever old gas varnish. So that should clean it up. The rest of the gas tank's pretty good shape now. Just a reminder, after this truck is going and my deadline is September 15th, I plan on making this camper fit the back of this truck and going on trips. You know, we're going to go on camping trips and things like that with this old rig. And if you're new to the channel, for now, this is the body I'm going to be putting on it. I'm just going to patch up all the holes. Let me show you how bad a shape this cab is in real quick too, by the way. There's an obvious spot, but it's not terrible. Seat needs a little attention, but some of you already know I'm working on that. Look at this floor. Oh my goodness, so much light showing through it. The rocker. Here's the other side. It's got a little hole there. And I think the wires, this wiring harness is hiding the rest of the holes. There's a hole there. Under the hood, we have some minor issues here and there. The underbelly of this unit is equally distressed, as you can see. She needs some overhauling on the body. I'm not scared of this at all. This doesn't bother me at all, the rust it has under here. I will cut and weld pieces in and then just spray it with some black spray paint. That's gonna be it. Because again, and I've said it a lot, but just in case, you know, newcomers, we're using this cab over here. So this is one I need to spend my time on. The red one, and there's the bed. The red truck is just to get us by. And I want it structurally sound, that's why I'm gonna weld it all this rot, but I'm not gonna make it pretty. We're not gonna spend a whole bunch of time fixing those holes. We'll get to that. I'll film it, you guys will see it. Short update today, guys. I really need to get back to work if I'm gonna have a video for you Sunday morning on this old truck. Just a friendly reminder, I could really use all the likes, comments, and shares that you guys could possibly give me. So if you could help me out with those stupid YouTube requirements, I'd greatly appreciate it. We'll see you Sunday morning, guys.